Hi, Karen with you today. Thank you so much for joining me. I have a scrapbook layout for Kitaholics kits and I'm using the May 2022 kit. This is my last layout for this month of May and I don't know about you, but I absolutely loved playing with this kit this month. It was just so, so pretty, um, had wonderful ephemera pieces and um, I hope you've had a great time playing if you've got this kit. If you haven't, I believe there is still some left in the store. Um, so I will leave links below to get all the details around that. I've also had a little bit of a challenge from Steph t for this one today. And her challenge was to use up as many of the word phrases, word pieces from the ephemera pack from Pink Fresh as I can. And so challenge accepted. I will see what I can do with that today. I'm also going to use up quite a few of my scraps that I still have left. I have really stash busted this um, this collection this month and I actually don't have that much left now, which I'm really happy about. I love it when I can sort of use up a lot of my stash for my creations every month. I really wanted to use that Punchinella as well. I love the texture that places on a page. So I'm just having a little bit of a play just to get a bit of a feel for where I'm headed. So I'm going to put lots of layers on my page today. And I want to start off with some mixed media on my background. Now, because I'm using some patterned paper there, I wanted to give um, a, a little bit of structural integrity, I guess, to the page. So I am putting a coat of white gesso um, and I'm just putting that on there with my silicon spatula there. And I'm also using my fingers to fade it out as well. I did put it on a little bit thick, so I do use that spatula to pick some of that up and just smush that around the page. Um, I didn't cover the whole thing because I'm, I'm really aiming for my, my layout to be sort of in the middle, a little bit to the left on the page. I waited for that to dry and I love how you can still see the stripes through that as well. But I wanted to use a contrasting color. Um, I'm also trying to match in with the photo as well. My little boy is wearing um, a gorgeous little orange set of overalls um, and I loved this little outfit when he was a little kid. Um, and so I started off with just using the packaging technique um, where I just popped down some of my ink spray. The first one I did use there was the Dina Wakely Gloss Spray in Apricot, which we did get in a previous kit as well. Um, and it was a little bit too light. I wanted a little bit more sort of color on the page. So I grabbed from my stash Distress Oxide Spray in the color of Spiced Marmalade. Now it did go a little bit yellow and that's really mainly because of it being all across that white gesso. I really think the color changed a little bit from that. Um, but I really loved giving that little bit of extra to the page and a little bit more of that color tone. And what I also did, um, you would have seen me there, I just added in some white acrylic paint, um, added some more water to the page, and then was able to give a really marbling effect to the whole color there. And it just toned it down a little bit as well and gave it a bit more of a creamier type look to the page. I do mop up a little bit of that with my paper towel and I did come in at one stage with my heat to, heat um, gun um, just to finish off some of that drying as well. And I really love how the packaging technique can give you that watercolor feel and just that splotchy feel around the page. It is absolutely one of my favorite go-tos when I'm doing mixed media on backgrounds. Um, I then add in some splatters and I'm using the Dina Wakely white gloss spray for the white went back in with the apricot as well and also the the marmalade color from the distress oxide and for a little bit of bling um, never can go too far never can have enough bling is what i think um, so i've added some of that as well which is just Kaisercraft gold mist as well and I've dried that up with my paper towel just to um, so it was gives a more of a muted feel. If you dry it naturally, it, the, the splatters tend to be a little bit more predominant on the page. Um, but I didn't feel that that was necessary for this particular background. Well, not at this stage of the background anyway. 
So I waited for that to fully dry and then started building my layers here. I really love how that punchinella sits across um, that mixed media and the pattern paper. I really love the, how that turned out. I have popped up this green pattern paper on some foam as well. That's the ledger patterned paper that we got in the kit um, just to give that added dimension to the page and some shadows around as well. And then I've got these little tiny pieces that I found that I'd kept all my pieces. Now I would normally, um, if you'll watch some of my friends would know that I often throw the really little pieces away. I can't stand them in my stash. Um, but what I do with my um, monthly kits each month is I do keep everything in my bag. Um, and then at the end of the month, I go through it and go, oh, well, I should I keep that bit or what, what should I do with that? And I thought it's a great way to use up those little pieces. So I popped that little floral pieces just on the edges of that top and the bottom of the section as well. I have distressed the edges of all of the pattern paper as well with my distress tool. Um, I've distressed them quite heavily because I really, like I said, I really wanted lots of dimension on this page and it really gives a great um, sort of level on the page. I do also tuck the edges on the top sort of I tear them over like a bookmark I guess um, and to give that added dimension as well so I'm just coming in now just to see which letters I have worked out roughly I have done a pre go through of the of the words to think about what words I wanted on this layout and now I'm just looking and seeing where's the best place I can sit them now that I've also got the dimension on the page, I needed to work out where they were going to sort of nestle in or, or whatever. So I thought that this was a great way to use them up by arching them all around from the top right down to the bottom of the page. And I also do pop them all up on some foam. Um, you won't see me do that. It took quite a while. I had to cut up those foam pieces quite thinly, um, but I love how they pop off the page once that is completed. To add in some clusters as well, I'm just having a play here at the moment. I do move things around quite a few times as I'm starting to build up these layers. Um, I love those little um, leaf pieces as well and that blue sort of bluey green color tone and I'm making sure that my clusters have similar colors to what is in all those words and that's really where I'm thinking I'm turning the layout into being a little bit more cohesive so if you're thinking about it I've gone from the layers of the blue stripes and there's stripes on my grandfather's shirt the orange I'm bringing in to the orange of Jacob on his outfit there. And then I'm using that gold as part of, because there's, um, there's gold on some of the, the letters that I'm using, which is why I did the, the gold splatters. And then I'm also toning in more of that orange by using those orange floral pieces as well, because I wanted orange to then be that sort of, I guess, the main focus. Um, I'm hoping I'm making some sense there. I just really wanted to make sure that I all the colors are represented in some way and then on the page more than once. Um, so hopefully I've made some sense or I'm just rambling along as I'm building this layout. I also popped on those gorgeous hearts, fabric hearts that were in the um, in part of the pack this month and they are from the Coco Vanilla Daydream collection um, and I just loved being able to add those on. I actually have used all of those up on my layouts this month. So I'm really, really happy about that. So a few times I have moved things around. Oh, I am showing you a little bit of, um, I didn't edit that bit out, um, of putting some of those foam pieces on the letters. Um, so what I will also do today, I will make sure I put in the description box below all the links to the store um, and where you can actually get these gorgeous kits from. I believe there is still some left of this month's kit. Um, and 
if you are if you aren't already a subs subscriber um, and you want to become a subscriber all the details are on the web as well we also have a private subscriber group as well where design team members share lots of exclusives and have lots of conversation with everyone and everyone gets an opportunity to share what they're up to as well um, so i would strongly encourage you to take a look at joining up and subscribing um, and seeing how wonderful these kits are now to finish off some of the ephemera pieces that i'm also doing so just adding a little bit of extra to the page i did pop that flower um, at the corner there up on some foam for some added dimension just to match up with the rest of the page as well and i added those got, i grabbed those puffy sticker sheet from i think it's simple stories isn't it um, and just added on a few of those stickers i put those gorgeous little bumblebees on the hearts i thought that was really cute and the little sticker that i'm putting down there on the left hand side there is of a mailbox and that was just so cute I couldn't resist it um, and then just putting a, that little kite piece on the right hand side there as well and I popped another bee on that kite as well those bumblebees are so so cute I did think about putting some of the enamel dots on but I tried a few times and they just didn't look right on the page so how I finished this one off is I wanted to bring a little bit more of the blue to the page. And so I've also grabbed out my Distress Display Stain in um, Faded Jeans, which is one of my most favorite color dark blues. Um, and I've just done some small, smallish where I could splatters around the page. And I do use a little bit of paper towel to also um, just dab that up a little bit so it's not so dark. I did make a boo-boo as you can see I did not cover my photo and I have got a little couple of pieces on that photo But I am gonna let that go and not worry about it So coming up is the final layout and some close-ups as well Just adding in some more white splatters just to finish that off. Thank you so much for joining me today I hope I've given you some some semblance of some inspiration Please make sure you share what you're up to in the group over on Facebook. Bye for now.